nice, nice, nice. Bomac, man. Have any of you all had a chance to actually talk to him yet? Um, he's t- he's talked to uh Red and I think mm-hmm. Bud, but mm-hmm. uh, you know, but um, I I dele- I I let them have that that few little bit of time. He do get talk because like they they are helping with the situation. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, no doubt, no doubt, I, no I, doubt. I, I talked I talked to them him through them. You know, he was on the phone with him one time, and I was in the background talking like, hey, "What's up, Bo? Man, everything going good and everything." But mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's it's gonna be a long a long journey. But we, yeah, I think so. I think so, man. Yeah, uh, we don't get through it. This it was just an honest mistake, man. I think you know, like I don't I don't know the actual details, but mm-hmm. yeah, it's just a lot. It's just yeah, when you travel a lot, man, sometimes you just grab the same bag, and he might have forgot shit was in there, man. You know. I know yeah. that I now I know I heard somebody say that he was traveling he traveled private when he went over there. You dig, and then on the way yeah, back he did commercial. That's what I heard. See, I don't know part of the situation, you know. I tried to I try to stay oblivious to it because then it, it had me worried and yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Thinking about it. So I try to stay oblivious to it as much of it until it comes down to the knit and grit, you know. Mm, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, I just try to like avoid avoid talking about it, avoid fucking yeah, I can respect respect. Respect. Yeah, yes indeed, man. Well, we definitely uh have our prayers for that brother, man, cuz uh it's going to be an yeah. arduous uh journey for the simple fact, man, it is a country that don't allow firearms, so, you know. Yeah. You dig? So that's going to be something that he's going to deal with, man. I was amazed that and if that it comes down to him, like I don't know if it was his, you know what I mean. But if it comes down to that, then you know I feel like I just don't see him purposely doing something like that. You know, I don't, I don't see it. Like knowing Bo and knowing how much trouble he's kept the whole team and and kept us all out of trouble, and how he's like the, how he's like the uh, big uncle. You know, mm-hmm. to make wiser decisions because he's talked us out of so much, or you know, blowing up and getting mad about little stuff. So mm-hmm. I, just, I just don't see Bo, you know, doing something like that on purpose. It was just like that's why I said if it if it does come down to it, it was him, it was just an honest mistake. I don't. Mm. I don't. Yeah, because plus he had to get all that stuff off his record before, man, and he went through a lot to do that. So. Yeah. You know, I can't see him just doubling back, just put himself back into the same predicament. Because at one time he was talking about even getting uh, to be able to be a citizen over there. You know, yeah, yeah that was one of his interests, you know, in, you know, something he wanted to do, man. But right. yeah, man, I, I hope that things do work out for him, man, for sure. And uh, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what's next, man. Uh, you think you're going to be able to get stepped up in higher competition, man? Because you're going That's through the these like butter, man. That's the plan. That's the plan, man. Because like I ain't getting younger, you know. And that's the plan. Right, right. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to wait until it's like hard for me to put my all into this. Mm-hmm. To get that shot where I'm like, man, no, give me right now while I'm fresh and young and. You know, mm-hmm. and, and still able. You know what I mean? Like, so a lot of times that happened with with guys like me is they don't get the shot when the time is right. Exactly, and father times waits for nobody. Nobody. Exactly, exactly, man. Uh, and I think the reason why Bud is so great, man, and his, you know, because Bud was about to turn thirty six, or has he turned thirty six now? Yeah, he turned thirty six in a couple of weeks. Yeah, but he's been living that Spartan life, man. It seems like that he he's serious about what he got going on. We never hear anything about anything crazy about Bud whatsoever, or no smoking, drinking, or none of those type things, man. No, no, he se- he's yeah, he seems just like how Floyd Mayweather was. You did so yeah. when you when you live like that, man, and you're a boxer, man, it definitely gives you a step up over your competition when they're doing all those other type of things, man. So. uh yeah, shout right. out, man. He's definitely a real one, man. And I'm glad that he's finally getting his just due. You did? Yeah, yeah. crazy, man, because... It took so long, right? It took so long, and it's like... 
two types of people who doubted him. They either making excuses and trying to uh, diminish who he is, mm-hmm. or they just totally switched up and act like they went on the other side. Like we see it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But just don't have the time to even, you know, address it. It's like whatever. But <laughs> so many people, so many people switched up, and you know, like I have, I had a whole folder in my phone mm-hmm. for, for the past couple of years, like literally, mm-hmm. like screenshots of people who was just trash talking. But every time I see it, screenshots, I got a whole folder of screenshots. Mm-hmm. 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 And, and, at the time, I'm like, yeah. After after Bud, after Bud, fucking f- finally, f- finally fit, uh, fight Errol Spence, and he beat his ass. Mm-hmm. I'm about to go back in. I'm about to go back in and <laughs> tag all the people. But then afterwards, I was like, you know, I ain't got the time. I don't care. It ain't, it's not even even man, worth it, man. Yeah, and the thing about it, man, it's nothing wrong with having your pick. There's nothing wrong with that. Exactly. You know? Exactly. You know, but it's, it's just when you go when wrong. you go too far, you know what I mean? Because I mean, people know that I was a Spence guy, Jack. But I give credit what credit is due, man. Right. And uh, Bud, man, uh, it's an amazing cat, man. Right. I mean, that's that's what makes say. that's what makes sports great. It's mm-hmm. nothing wrong with picking your sides and be like, I'm going for this guy because it is. All right, mm-hmm. cool, cool. But it'd be mm-hmm. the one to start. Like, like, diminishing the person character, or talking down, or talking yeah, yeah, bad, yeah, or exactly, you know, exactly. talking ill and talking about livelihood and stuff. When it comes to fighters, like, man, hold on, I'm going too far, going yeah, too speaking, far, speaking, speaking ill on my family and, and my well being, and and trying to take away from me. And even now, I see people talking up, talking, posting stuff, talking about. Oh, but Bud Bud was broke before he fought Arrow. Now he got money. Now he want to build a house. Yeah, like, that's bull. Where, where that's bull. You? That that man got a lot of money. I know that. And he a businessman, man. He, he, he and he's, and he's like, about buying land. I know that. I yeah, know he likes people, getting that land, Jack. Yeah. Like mean, people who don't know him, Sal, he cheap. He's frugal. Like no, he's smart with his money because this mm-hmm. shit ain't gonna last forever. He buy that's land, right. buy property, commercial property. Mm-hmm. Buy, buy, and build houses, redo houses, be a, you know, he do that type of stuff. That chains and cars, all that stuff, man. That stuff mm-hmm. is for the birds, <laughs> right? <laughs> what they say, guns and butter. Which one are you getting, Jack? Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeed. Well, listen, in, man. Uh, I know that you was in the gym earlier, man, and I appreciate you uh, coming on, Jack, for show. Man, before you get off, man, let people know where they can get at you and whatever else you like to say to the people, bro. Hey, man, I appreciate everybody that tuned in, man. You know, you got to check me out, man. I'm the jack of all trades, Mr. So Cold, Mr. Do It All. You know, you want to go from anywhere from stand-up comedy to building <laughs> stuff, fixing stuff, to flying planes and Want to be inspired? You know, I work with the kids. I'm a community man. You know, I'm executive director of BNB Sports Academy. Anything, man, just follow me, man, because I got a great journey that needs to be witnessed. And I feel like you guys can all, you know, benefit from, you know, supporting me, really, because, like I said, man, I'm inspiration for all types of people, all walks of life. So, you know, being across the world, military, um everything man so just follow me on instagram steven nelson boxing uh facebook steven so cold nelson twitter so cold nelson and tiktok is steven nelson boxing too so you can follow me on all those platforms man i appreciate you guys appreciate you Uh, as we call we call this hardcore hangout man we just kick back and enjoy talking about boxing man and we appreciate you uh gracing us with your presence today man and a shout out man and and tell uh bud that the hangout said salute man i definitely man i'm gonna deliver the message for you man so cold steve so cold